Your Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Another toasty day here in mid-Michigan, but the humidity yes. wasn't here made all the difference. I, it really does, you know, when it's heat out there, but it's dry heat, it actually feels quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, we have the same heat, but unfortunately we are going to see dew points climb a little bit. It's not going to be oppressive like it was last week, but it will, it will be noticeable. Highs for today, though, like we were saying, it was hot, but it really didn't feel all that bad out there. High temperatures today reached 88 in Lansing. 87 was our high in Jackson. 85, both in Charlotte and Mason. It was 87 as well if you were heading off to Owasa, so it was a very warm day across the board, but with those low dew points down to the 50s, it felt rather comfortable. Temperatures right now, though, now that the sun has set, we are cooling off pretty quickly. A lot of us still into the 60s. A few locations, though, hanging on to the 70s. It's still 76 degrees right now in Lansing. It's 69, though, so much cooler in Jackson. 65 tonight in Charlotte. It's 68 degrees currently in Mason. Still 71 in Adrian. 59 is actually our coldest spot for tonight right now in Hillsdale. As we head overnight, most locations will really only fall down to about the lower 60s. Heading towards the day on Monday, though, highs will return back into the 90s. Dew points have remained on the comfortable side for most of the day. Actually, most of the day we were down into the lower 50s. For tonight, we're starting to see those dew points creep up slowly. They're into about the middle 50s right now. We'll notice dew points in the lower 60s as we head towards Monday afternoon. It's enough that you'll notice the humidity when you step outside, but it's not going to be oppressive. So I think it will be a little bit sticky out there and it might feel uncomfortable at times. Times, but it's not going to be oppressive or nothing at all like what we saw last week. So it will be okay if you want to be outside. It's just going to be a little bit on the hot side. Satellite and radar, we're clear. We have been since Friday. High pressure pretty much the main focus as we headed throughout the weekend. Now our attention turns next to two systems. One is this dying cold front. Right behind it, though, is a stronger cold front. Both of these systems will work their way closer to mid-Michigan as we head towards Monday night. Now by the time they finally get here, they're not going to have a lot of moisture to work with. It's been so dry over the last couple of days that any rain that they may spark will pretty quickly fizzle out. So one or two isolated showers is possible Monday night into Tuesday. Most of us, though, will not see any rain, unfortunately. In your future track, we are clear for tonight. Lows falling down into the lower 60s. As we wake up on Monday morning, plenty of sunshine to go around. It will be a very bright start to the day. As we head throughout the afternoon hours, though, and into the evening, we'll notice a few clouds building, and that's that cold front coming through. And then Monday night into Tuesday, it's really just the clouds that we're going to see. We can't rule out the chance for maybe one or two isolated showers, but even those showers that do manage to uh, pop up are not going to have a lot of rain with them, and unfortunately, and most of us will actually stay dry all the way into the overnight hours. We'll be clear again as we head towards Tuesday afternoon. For tonight, we're dropping down to 62 degrees with clear skies. One more mild night if you want to open up those windows. For tomorrow, though, you'll likely need the AC turned on. 90 will be our overall high in many locations. A few spots could see a degree highs a few degrees warmer than that. It will be very sunny and it will be hot. Again, dew points will climb a few degrees as well, so it's going to feel a little sticky for tomorrow, but not oppressive. In your seven day forecast, really only one short stay in the night. We'll back into the 80s Tuesday and Wednesday, then we make it another about face and we're back into the upper 80s on Thursday and Friday, low 90s scheduled for next weekend. But we do see a better chance for showers Friday and then another chance again on Sunday night. Looks like tomorrow is a pool day. It is definitely going to be a pool or beach kind of day. Mm -hmm. All right, Claire. Thank